Hey, and what's going on, everybody? Welcome to an FTG Full Tilt Sawmill. It is so great to see you guys today. We have got a big uh, stream here that is, I'm, I'm excited about it. We've been working extremely hard, at least I have, and a few close friends of mine have been working hard to make this happen. So thanks to all you. Uh, you know who you are. Thanks. Uh, you guys, just a little setup here for guys that may be new, guys that may be coming in later, uh, and those that may be catching this episode and haven't maybe watched the first one. The whole premise of this idea is that FTG Contracting Inc. is going to be building custom home sites here on the lovely, beautiful map, uh, heavily modded and, and at least edited by myself here uh, from FTG. FDR. This is Emerald Valley Lake. You can go pick that up at uh, their mod site. Uh, terrific maps they do, uh, especially if you enjoy modding, which I do. That's one of my favorite things to do here in Farm Sim. So uh, a little bit on the episode today, then we're going to have a little short break, and then we're coming right back at it. And I'm going to introduce a new but a special guest here today on the, uh, I would say on the farm, but we're not actually feasibly on the farm today. Um, so today we're going to be getting everything ready. So the production is going to actually happen today. Plywood is going to go into production as well as all of our lumber. So last episode here, episode one, you can go catch that as well. I think we've got links in the description. Uh, we've actually put everything in, got all of our logs, at least up here. We got some of the stuff stacked. We got things cut out of the woods. We went back, we fixed everything. We, we went through, we grinded some of the stuff away we did all that good stuff then we came back uh, we got all of our logs up in the middle we have since cleared those logs we've got them in brand new log racks which I will feature here just in a little bit um, and then today they've actually been drying so now they're going to actually go over and we're going to move those to the sawmill and actually put all of that work and all of the dry lumber is going to start being cut up into lumber itself and then we're going to take those and haul those by the end of the episode today we're going to haul what uh, we have produced today we're going to haul those up take them off of our flatbeds and get them ready to start going into the new place so uh, with that being said, thanks for joining, guys. We will be back here in literally seven short seconds, and I want to introduce a very special guest, so uh, stay tuned. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Body got a lot of really familiar faces here. Uh, let me throw some quick shout outs, man. It's been a week, so I've missed some guys. Uh, you guys are awesome as well. Uh, we got Mason, Bo Norton, Vlogs. What's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Chuck, always great to see you. Blue Type RSX, man. Getting close to that 2K, man. Uh, be excited to see what you do there. Scott, what's up, man? JB29, hello to you. Brenton, what's up? David. Uh, gaming what is up smurdy always great to see you connor you as well mr spencer carver the man himself i uh, hope you're doing well buddy mr michael e always great to see you there bud uh who else we got here john what is up man good great to see you guys thanks for keeping up here in the comments as well i uh, appreciate that uh yes smurdy i'm on pc now so i appreciate you guys kind of keeping up and asking how things are going the baby's doing well mom is doing well so thanks for asking uh, and thanks for keeping up here. Encrypted, what's up? Hey there, bud. What is happening? Mr. Brandt Oldenburg. Nice to see you there. Sub a scrub, what is up? Who else we got to say? Brandt uh, Levi. Etheridge, what is going on? And Farming Simulator Kings. Hi. Uh, <laughs> you can say hey, Encrypted. <laughs> hey, guys. Yeah, uh, Encrypted is one of our guys here off of uh, off the Rat Pack. So I've got uh, I've got a few links down there in the description, guys. You guys want to? Uh, I've got a lot of support from those guys as well. So if you guys want to jump in there at any time, uh, come in here, say hey to FTG, meet a lot of other great guys, and have a great farming community. There's uh, servers up. They're 24/7. You guys, uh, it's really it's a great deal. So anyway, join that uh, if you're if you're uh, if you want to. So I'm not sure where he's at. Um, I'm gonna actually pull. A few things up here. Uh, there we go. Uh, so we've got another special guest here. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, have you jumped in yet, Nick? It says it's paused. Um, try it again. It shouldn't be paused. You might have to stop that okay. and come back in. So uh, anyway, let me go ahead and introduce him while, while he's figuring that out. If not, then we may have to back up and, and restart it. That would be so totally typical. That's what happens, you know, on a week, uh, on a week when, when you're not doing things, you know, trying to catch up and trying to make everything happen. So, uh, yes, what is up, Smurdy? Yeah, long time no see. Uh, farming is going well, Levi. Most of it has been spent in this map. Uh, most of it's been spent trying to. There he is. Um, 
And most of it's been uh, trying to actually get all this stuff up and running. I've had a blast doing it. I enjoy the, the editing and I, I enjoy the finer details of it. And honestly, I enjoy the storyline. I think it's a lot of fun, uh, and I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. So I hope you guys, too, do as well. Don't forget, we do have a few things there. Steam Full Tilt Gaming. I'm actually going to be starting up another community. FTG United Community is what that will be under. So if you're on Steam, on PC, hit me up there. You can also tweet uh, at Full Tilt. Um, oh, did not let you in, Nick? Uh, Don't well. look... <laughs> Yeah, I said I left the server. All right, so let's let's just do this. Let's uh, we'll just do this on stream. What the heck? Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to save, and we'll go ahead and quit out, and uh, we'll start things back up. Uh, and that way we we get a um, we get a good fresh start on this. We've been trying to get mods and trying to get everything else uh, started on here. So let's uh, let's see if we can't get all that going. Get a fresh start into Emerald Valley here. This always happens. We've been trying to get mods going. We've been trying to do all kind of things tonight. So it might just be uh, a good fresh start is what we need. <laughs> Spencer said, oh, Nick broke the game. <laughs> there we go. All right. Try that now, Nick. Let's see what happens. We have put some new mods in, and uh, we'll see if he actually gets in this time. So synchronizing is a good thing, so... Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the server, uh, enjoy this episode, episode number two. Uh, like I was saying, don't forget, uh, you can tweet me there at Full Tilt. Don't hit me up there on Facebook as well, Full Tilt Gaming. And if you're on Steam, you can uh, look me up there on Steam. Just let me know who you are, especially if your name is new. I get a, a few random guys that uh, that jump into the uh, that send me friend requests that I don't really know who you are. So I'm not going to okay that if I don't exactly know who you are. So there he is, Mr. Nick T. You guys uh, would maybe know them if you keep up with Raptor and uh, and the Rat Pack stuff. He's a big time feature on the Dino Diner, and he is basically the setup man for Raptor. So anything Raptor wants to do, uh, Nick comes up with it. He thinks about it, and he makes it happen. So uh, I'm very glad to have Nick T. So thank you for joining us, bud. No problem. All right. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to take a trip. If you want to grab a, let's grab a, um, let's show the guys what we've done. So grab a Silverado. I wish we could ride in one together. That would be pretty freaking cool. You ride it, lad. <laughs> uh, doing a giveaway, uh, I would like to, uh, but um, the last giveaway was a little bit weird. It didn't go as is planned. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll see about that. What do you think you guys did? So just, uh, I guess, the nature of the beast. <clears throat> so, welcome to those that are just coming in. A lot of you guys are familiar and look like I saw you on the last stream. So, uh, on, on, on this particular side, what we're doing here, uh, we are basically producing everything. So, uh, we've gone in, we've added uh, the graders come in, they've leveled out all the ground, we've added all the concrete, all the stone. Uh, and now what we're doing is coming in and clearing out ways and clearing out pathways on these big custom home sites uh, so that the uh, owners can actually look out over these wonderful extravagant views here in Emerald Valley. Uh, so if you catch up on episode one, we are basically in the process of clearing this whole entire valley, or at least this whole entire hillside, which we did and we're successful at. So we, uh, so we get out here and we'll shut things down. Take a look at what we've got. So here's our custom home site cabin. Now, the cool thing about this is you guys will see this cabin will actually take some shape as the episodes go. So we'll, uh, we'll actually have all of this stuff here is going to start coming on. So you'll start seeing logs on this thing. You'll see a roof on this. Uh, so I'm going to go in and we're going to go in and I'm actually going to build this as the series goes on. So it's going to be pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm excited about it. So it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun as well. So we came down, we delivered, uh, we got all this logs all the way back to the base there. So we'll actually see all the logs from this. So uh, pretty much when these guys want to sit up on a picnic table or whatever, this is going to be their wonderful view right off their front porches. This whole entire thing. So we cleared out and that's going to be the idea. So everything that we do now on these home sites is going to be an idea to kind of open up and leave ourselves a pathway to some pretty cool awesome views and this map has a ton of them i mean uh lovely mountainside with this uh, just great trees here with the nice frost snow caps there uh it's really 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 nice They've done a really good job this is one of my favorite maps that they did uh just because it fits this so well so uh, I tell you what, Nick, let's go back. Uh, we'll take these back. Let's go grab us a couple of low, uh, low boys, and let's go ahead and bring. Uh, I tell you what, I'll go ahead and drive the Volvo back. 
actually, you know, I'll tell you what, you can bring one of those back and uh, I'll take the skid steers back. That was our all got our stump grinders and stuff on those. And then we'll uh, we'll load up the, uh, the Scorpion King and I'll drive the Volvo back. And uh, we'll start at least once we get some production going on the sawmill, we'll go ahead and start moving some uh, some equipment down to our next site. Sounds good. <laughs> Michael said, "Would you say Nick's the man?" <laughs> yeah, he's the man, man. He is. He uh, he does a lot of work, and he does it because he enjoys the game, and that's what it's about. Uh, if you're doing it for anybody but your uh, yourself. And you've got nobody but your own mind doing stuff like that uh, in mind, then uh, I think it comes out pretty quick. So it's always nice to meet other guys that really enjoy the game itself for what it is and what the, the community brings, which uh, couldn't fit any more in line with FTG United uh, than that right there. I mean, that's what it's all about. So oh, you're far too kind. Uh, hey, what's going on, Mr. B Money 85? How are you doing, bud? Hope you're doing well. We'll get this trailer back in here, and uh, this is our main base here. We've got uh, we've got lumber sitting in here as well. Um, got both of our trailers, and there's a nice little sub there from the Coffee Bug. Thank you, there, buddy. Appreciate the sub. Hope you enjoy the series. And I tell you what, while Nick's getting our uh, low boy stuff set up, he's got uh, he's got the truck over there, nice Caterpillar 660. Uh, we've got here's what we did. So you guys saw we had the wood stacks up here. Uh, later um, so we decided well let's go back let's do some other things let's I'm gonna get some other things I actually changed the way these actual production facilities work we got them up here now and we've also got our d6 dozer and a nice big uh, bucket here on our Volvo I think this is the 220h loader uh, so we'll take both of these and this will actually be the start of our wolf a uh, wood pile dump here and then it's going to conveyor belt into this nice little depressed area this is going to be where most of our um, most of our wood chips come out of there so it'll be actually nice we'll be able to take those put those as we need them there into our facility plants and here's all of our logs now these things are actually from toxic om uh this is these are awesome because they allow us to auto load basically directly right into these things keep them nice uh keep them you know perfectly in pristine condition up here and they get time to dry so we can actually cut these things up and uh and use them as our lumber so hey what's up bird i am loving it man nice to see you there Always great to see you guys. Uh, will I ever go play? I will go play some uh, some PS4 there, Smurdy. The the only problem is I just the setup that I have right now. I just don't have enough space, and I had to move my entire stream over to PC uh, instead of doing it half on my Mac, half on this. And I can only keep it on one computer at a time. That's the way the licensing works. Um, so that's kind of that kind of threw a wrench into something I was not expecting. Um, so at some point, when it's a little bit more dedicated, um, I will certainly have that set up. Um, tell you what, let's, I'm going to go ahead and fast travel over to our main site here. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I believe he should be, yep, there he's coming down the road. So I'm going to go ahead and drive the Volvo back, uh, cause it'll drive plenty fast enough. There comes Mr. Nick up the road. Thank you there, Michael. I would I would have to say I, I took credit for that stack, but not really. <laughs> that stack is uh, is totally uh, an auto loaded stack. Yeah, Bird. Uh, I actually got my steering wheel in. You know, this is just typical the way this runs. I um, I got my steering wheel in. I got everything set up. I got everything ready to rock and roll. And the next thing you know, uh, it does not work on the USB 3.0 side or the PS4 side. So now they've got me in level two tech support. And uh, so it looks like I'm probably going to get a new steering wheel sent to me um, because uh, I can't control any force feedback or anything. It does work on the 2.0 side on the PS3 switch, but not on the PS4 side. So uh, that's a dis disappointment, uh, but it happens sometimes. So I'll let uh, Logitech do their thing. And it uh, sounds like they're going to work with me and make it right. So, um, you know, go by Logitech. Nice, Vince. Nice, nice, nice. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Britton? All right, so this, uh, this, this right here, especially on PC, uh, the Volvo, um, this thing is awesome. Uh, way, 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 way better than any of the JCB stuff. 
Uh, so here's a good look at our uh, sawmills, especially if you're on console, if you haven't seen the sawmill stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, lumber does go in on this side. Logs go in here in our nice taped off zone. Uh, and they come out as lumber on pallets. Stick and uh, tapered. Um, I don't think these do. These don't. They're just regular old lay down. So we'll actually take those from here as they're produced and we'll stick them up here. Now these things will actually dry. And then uh, as we get done here, the last of the uh, episode here, we'll be able to take some of these off and be able to take them on to trailers and take them down to our site. So that's kind of the synopsis of what's going on today. Uh, so I think uh, Mr. Nick's on his way back now. So I'm going to go ahead and travel back. I know we'll fast travel and I'm just going to pull back the truck here. This will be everything. So uh, next time you come and once we get some more uh, wood product up here, we'll take it down here and we'll have everything up here and have it all rocking and rolling and ready to go. So uh, it should be really nice. Be looking forward to that because I actually see some build on to that uh, to that uh, um, to that building. We'll actually start putting a roof on it. We'll put sides on it, and we'll actually be able to walk up the stairs and actually walk into it. So uh, that'll be kind of cool. Actually, be able to see a progression uh, here with farm Steve, even though it's been done on the editor side by me. Um, it, it's still pretty cool to see because it does give you a sense that you're actually uh, doing something. All right, so Nick's getting that all backed in. So thank you there, Nick. Yeah, Brand, as, as much as we can, you know, Farm Sim doesn't allow us to really do any kind of like actual construction work like that, but I will be adding on too. So the whole idea is we take this wood down there uh, once we've produced it. Thank you there, Mr. Rabbit3720 there for the subscription. Appreciate it there, buddy. Hope you continue to enjoy the content here at FTG. Thanks for stopping in and thanks for the subscription. Um, so we'll be able to, uh, as Nick's getting that in here, I'll just, uh, so we'll be able to, we'll be able to put all that and I'll actually build onto that cabin. So as we've got a couple more and a few other home sites, I'm not sure that I've actually really pushed out there, but we've got a couple of more home sites here, about four total. And I'm actually working on a new map now, uh, that we'll take and we'll carry this over into a new area. So we know FTG contracting incorporated, we'll just pick this name up and we'll take it and we'll take and haul the equipment out. Uh, and do as we please at another map and kind of have the same the same idea about it. So it should be cool. It'd be cool. I'll be looking forward to doing that. Um, all right, Nick, you can uh, put that anywhere. I'm going to go grab the, some big stuff here. So I guess the things we're going to need to get out, um, we're going to need to get out the beast. There's one thing we'll need to get out. Um, okay. And then we'll need a Volvo with the log uh, forks on it. And we'll make some chips there with the beast to get both of these facilities going. Uh, and then I'll actually get this big old mama jamma out and I'm going to move some logs over to the sawmill side. That's like a lot of work you got to do GFTG. I'd love to join you guys, but this flight is taking forever. Oh, yeah. I'll see you at the airport though when I land. There you go, man. We need to do that, man. We need to do like a... We'll, we'll have to fly somewhere on VATSIM with x -Plane and you're doing FS, but we can still fly together. Uh, we we'll need to do something like that, and then we can. I should bring a full around. That'd be kind of cool. We, we can fly to a new map, and set it up. There Where is a software for it that we can do a link stall to flight sims together. I'll, I gotta find it though. Okay. So we put in the beast to where its conveyor drops onto the belt here. Um, we could try that and see if it'll actually work. Uh, if it does work, then we can certainly do it. Um, and then if, if it doesn't, then we can obviously put it in trailer and then dump out that trailer there. So we, we can we can try either or. If it allows force unload, it should work, theoretically. It, it should, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if you can force load out of the beast or not. Um, so when's Fly Sim going to take off? Yeah, well, the one thing about Fly Sim is it does take a lot of time to do. Uh, and honestly, I'm not in the position right now with the newborn. Uh, I'm still kind of keeping these fairly short so that they're easily watchable afterwards uh, so that I can still be there to, uh, to help assist the Mrs. whenever I need to. So um, that's, that's kind of the, the 411 on that. Uh, that's the only reason I haven't done it yet, um, but I assure you that it will be taken off soon. Oh, we're going to be close here. i got to hurry up and get some straps on it. There we go. Woo! They were starting to move on me. It's 
So we'll take all this lumber over and we're going to take it on over to the other side here. Get this in another stack or at least we might even just get it down and, night and neatly lay it here right in front of one of these stacks. And that way we can easily pick them up with a, uh, you know, the log forks. Um, we may just do that with one of these and then we may actually take and stack the other one. We may actually try to put them actually in the stack and see how that goes. <laughs> may, 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 be a, may be a fail coming. I don't know. I hope not. All right, so I tell you what, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick this uh, right here beside these other two nicks. So anytime, if you want to go ahead and load these up and start getting some production in here, that would be fine. <clears throat> load the beast, you mean? Uh, we can do either or. Uh, I tell you what, let me put these in here. I, I can help you out with that. I will load uh, these, both these sawmills, get them up and fully functional, and then I can, uh, we can pick up another load of these out of the uh, out of the, the barracks over there, and we can get these put down as well. Uh, that way, you've got uh, logs at both sides. You won't have to drive halfway across the map with loaded logs. All right. All right. Come on. There it goes. All right, there she, there she goes. Uh, that actually was pretty smooth, a lot smoother than I thought it would be. <laughs> all right, so we'll close that up and we'll run all our stuff back in here. So we'll go over here where Nick's at. We'll see if we can't pick us up another. Uh, this thing is absolutely awesome to do with these. Uh, I had no idea these mods would work as well as they have. A little in calves, not too bad. This is FDR stuff here, so this this actually I think one of their better ones. It's absolutely humongous, but nonetheless, it's pretty fun. It's a little quiet though. I, I would figure something like this is extremely loud. Yes, sir, Michael. I love it, man. It's good good stuff, man. This is uh, a one and done. I want it done here. So I tell you what, Nick. Let me do this. Uh, I will go ahead and I will pull one of these full, these full all the way off here, uh, and we'll just lay it over there in front of the truck. That way you can just load right up and we'll see see if this thing is going to work like we want it to. Okay. <laughs> Coming to console. No, but uh, actually, just a little. Uh, some of you guys have actually seen some of the Gold Rush videos that I did. Gold Rush has hit their funding, so Gold Rush will be coming to console. Uh, a lot of you guys have kind of asked and kind of put out some feelers there and say, "Hey, is this is this actually going to happen?" Uh, according to the devel to the devs and the email that they sent out to the uh, to the YouTubers and the backers, uh, it is actually going to come to console. So I thought that would make a few of you guys uh, really happy. I know I can't wait to get on that game some more once they get some uh, worthwhile updates. It's going to be nice. I think it's going to be a great game, although it is only single player at the, at the moment. Um, unfortunately, they're not going to be bringing uh, multiplayer out. So they just say they just don't have the manpower to, to make it happen, which is, I don't know. Could we, could we put them by the white pallets over here? And then you can kind of push against the building to help load. Yeah, sure. We can do that. I think uh, I think those white pallets there are collision. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah, from what I remember, I think so. All right, let's see. What is coming, Brandon? So if you want to, if you want to, you can go back down. You can look at the uh, the most recent uh, Gold Rush gameplay. If you don't know, if you've never seen it, uh, or kind of curious what the game is, so Gold Rush the game uh, is coming to console. They met their Kickstarter goals. I've been kind of talking about it a little bit uh, in our last live stream. So they are actually going to bring the full entire game to console because they they met their. Uh, their goals so that is really cool to see I figured you guys would probably want to see that I'm trying to figure out which one pushes out let's see where is it which one is it is that it nope nope that was not it either ah there it is alright let's try that and I'll go ahead and take this last load here while you're doing that let me know if it works if it doesn't I'll bring a truck over and switch okay. it up FTG's <laughs> the dad in never had. Well, I don't claim to be that man. I'm just everybody's friend. As long as you act like somebody. That's all I ask. 
What's going on, Mr. Frosty? How are you doing, buddy? Welcome to the live stream. Glad you guys are here. There's quite a few, uh, quite a few watching here as well as uh, hope you got some new guys in there. If you are, please don't uh, be hesitant. To introduce yourself. Uh, I definitely like uh, trying to keep up with chat as much as I possibly can. Uh, and everybody in here is uh, going to respect everybody. So uh, more than welcome to throw, uh, throw in a hey, what's up? I'm such and such and I'm new or that you subbed. Uh, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, keep up with all good things here with FTG, and I've got all my contact there rolling in with uh, Full Tilt there with uh, with Twitter, as well as Facebook and Steam. If you're on PC, go ahead and hit me up on those. But like I said before, if you're on PC, please let me know what your name on YouTube is so I can put a face with uh, you know with whatever's going on on the YouTube side. So let me know who you are. Don't send me just a random uh, you know invitation from some random name because I'm not going to accept it. Well, thank you, man. Well, if you don't mind, just a good pilot. Do I know one? Okay, so Mr. Frosty, there is a, uh, if you go down to, if you go back to the forums, go to farming-simulator.com. Maybe one of my mods can throw this link back up there. I've since forgotten it. Uh, it's not on my notepad since that's on my other computer at the moment. Um, but if you wanted to, there is a, uh, there's a simple, um, I think it's under the general tabs. Go to those general tabs and it, you will see a topic uh, that is made by one of the mods over at FarmSim. And that topic deals with what exactly is in testing. Uh, so you'll be able to see exactly what is in testing and you'll kind of be somewhat the first to know because a lot of guys don't know that it's there. Um, and it's just kind of tucked away. There's, they don't make a big deal about it, but it's there. Oh, this is perfect. It works. Cool. Yeah, if you force the belt and the chipper to unload, they goes one into the other and out into a pile. Nice. All right. So this, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. Most of the FDR stuff is a little hit or miss. Sometimes, you know, some of their stuff's okay. But I'm gonna tell you what, man. This little thing right here has just moved. You know, a whole episode's worth of trees in like literally 15 minutes. ATP man, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, and like I said, too, uh, especially here at the beginning of the stream, if you guys want to, especially if you want to come in and you want to say hey to me, uh, want to talk with me, any of the guys that I'm playing with, you guys saw Chuck and, and Ghost Rider here in the last episode. Uh, he's since kind of getting things cleared up. He'll be with us hopefully here in the last. Uh, Nick, that looks beautiful, man. That is awesome. That actually looked yeah, pretty cool. legit coming around the corner there. <laughs> That looks really good. Yeah, I love this jaw too. It grabs quite a few really well. Almost. <laughs> well, wow, that's 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 the Volvo I'm man, because that thing doesn't it doesn't bounce around like the JCB does. So we'll pull this thing back over here, kind of get it, uh, kind of get this thing a little bit out of the way here. It's a little cumbersome and. Uh, golly, it's quiet. They really need to like up the volume. I might see if I can if we can put a sound file in this thing. Guarantee you we can we can uh, we can definitely do a sound for it. All right, we'll pull it up there to the roof. There we go. So we'll just go check out here. Uh, we got our beast now. This is uh pretty much takes it up a log at a time. Pretty awesome. Uh, and then we actually use this thing to uh, to put it in. I, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I I've goofed him up a bit. There it goes. No, it's fine. It just uh, was a little too high. So thank you there, Don Johnson. And Don Johnson, it sounds like. Was that the guy off uh, Hawaii Five-O? Is that who he was, Don Johnson? Wasn't he an actor? Wouldn't it be cool if the actor Don Johnson had uh, subscribed here to FTG? So thank you there, Don, for your uh, for your subscription. Appreciate it there, buddy. And yeah, we got a couple that went the wrong way. Uh, what, logs? Yeah. That's all right. All right, so while he's doing that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I actually might need to buy one more log fork. I think I'm actually going to. Yeah, I totally uh, totally dropped the ball on that. So let's get, uh, let's grab one more log fork and be under wheel loaders. Uh, if you're on PC and want to know where I got most of my mods, I got them from everywhere. I've literally been looking for like, I you know, feel like weeks or months trying to find uh, you know the best stuff and to find the stuff that works for me and what I want to do. 
And logging mods are so back and forth. Um, there's only a few really good places to grab the stuff. So uh, I'm sure if you've been uh, into it and, uh, and actually know what's going on with uh, the farm sim mods, you probably know as much as I do. Yeah, the yarder man, FDR is actually working on a yarder. Uh, so I'm kind of waiting on them to get that sucker done. Uh, and we're going to actually, uh, you know, where these home sites are, Bird, we're going to take these uh, home sites and we're actually going to go down the trees, I mean down the tree line, and actually cut us out some power pole lines to get power to them. Uh, so that's that's something that's definitely going to be uh, here coming in the future. That's going to be another idea to utilize those things. So that's going to be cool, man. I'm definitely looking forward to that. FDR guys do a good job. I mean, for what it is. Thank you there, Ed McCall. Appreciate that. And so you'll see here we've got two things. Resources, the fuels, logs, and wood chips. So that's what we need. We need uh, two inputs of wood chips and logs. Right now we've got half of our logs in. And uh, wood chips uh, Nick is making there. So sometime, Nick, we can either shovel those over and bring them in. Uh, or we can just load up in a truck and bring them in. Your choice uh, does not matter to me. Sounds good. Hey, what's going on, Angela? Thank you for the congrats on the new baby. I appreciate that. Mike is good. You know, Mike actually uh, commented on the video and said, Hey, I'd love to see you live stream there, FTG. And I was like, well, hey, lucky you, man. We're going to be doing one tonight. And, uh, and I'm not sure what happened, but I haven't seen him yet. Hopefully, Mr. Mike's going to jump in. Uh, but uh, according to him, uh, things are going well with him, or at least better than they were last time. So uh, thank you guys for your, uh, for your thoughtful, uh, kind words to him. Uh, I've passed along a few messages, and he's passed along a few back there with Facebook. So it's always great great to see Mr. Mike doing well. So uh, we'll go ahead and speed up time here. Uh, maybe let's get around 60. Maybe that might be too much. Let's, let's maybe see how 30 does. Well, let's get some production going. Uh, yeah, I'll get one. I'll actually get one there, Subscribe. I'll get I'll get one up here um, uh, for the next episode. I'm not. I wasn't prepped for that today, so I'll, I'll throw one up here on the next one. All right, <laughs> baby FTG. <laughs> All right. I like the biggest on this. It's a little. Uh, it's a little too much. A little, a little too fast there, but. That sounds good, Bird. There's a couple of good ones. You just kind of, you know, just like everything else, man. You just got to be a little bit more, you know, a little bit more careful about uh, <laughs> what's going on. Um, all right, so we are... Okay, so that was all of the logs that we needed on that. So we got one on the list. So all we need now is to bring some wood chips over. So uh, we'll go over here and check Mr. Nick, see what he's doing, and we'll grab us a big old bucket of load of... Uh, Grab us a bucket load of stuff. And I had to speed up uh, my walking speed a little bit here just so we can get from one side to the other. Daddy duties, that's it, man. And that's why I haven't been streaming as much. Uh, I know you guys have put out some some nice comments and compliments there on Facebook and, and Twitter and the like. So uh, a few of you guys have emailed back and forth just, uh, you know, wishing everything's well. And I know I haven't streamed as much. I really would like to be streaming more. But, uh, you know, when you got a, when you got a newborn, it's, uh, it's every couple hours and it's not a really a lot of quiet time. So hopefully as it gets a little, uh, gets a little older, uh, we'll be able to uh, to feature a lot more stuff here and be getting into a lot more. So, uh, plus we'll get a dedicated place here in the house to actually do it. So that will help out a ton. Uh, so we'll I'll definitely keep you guys up and uh, we'll definitely do as much as I possibly can. So thank you guys for your interest and uh, thank you. Uh, hopefully we'll we'll get things really on a roll here in the next couple of months. Been a little slower than I would have wanted it to be, but hey, you know what? You just take take what you can get. Well, I know the one FDR is doing. Uh, you'll have to let me know, Spence, who's doing that other one. I'll, I'll be anxious to try those out because that's a that's kind of an integral part of logging, uh, and one that'd be uh, a missed if it, you know, somehow or another if it, uh, you know, wasn't any good. I saw what they did on uh, on Facebook and actually, I mean, on a YouTube video, and actually looked really good. So hopefully, um, hopefully they'll uh, they'll really do a really good job on that. 
Both of these items that I've got over here, I've got a, uh, I think I've got a clamshell loader as well as just a uh, general loader with a saw on it just to kind of even all your logs up. Both of those actually work really well as, uh, as well. Uh, pretty decent, uh, pretty decent control with them. There we go, things starting to spit them out. I knew it wouldn't take long once you get these things fed. There we go. That right, sounds good there, Spence. <laughs> Will the baby play farm sim? Uh, the baby, maybe, but uh, I tell you what, my four-year-old is having a blast with his steering wheel, even though it's a little tough. Um, baby's having, I mean, she's having a, a blast with, uh, <laughs> she's having a blast with the steering wheel and ATS and ETS. It's been a lot of, a lot of fun seeing her get into it. I remember my dad getting into it man this thing's loading it faster than it can uh that it can put it on the conveyor ain't it <laughs> yeah we get these logs out i think it's some of these goofy little ones like to pop out of the claw yep that's just how it is i'm really surprised that i haven't dropped more of the way logging usually goes yeah um let's see what is let me fold up i'm gonna see if i can pull this back just a little bit um, is that it? There it goes. Oh, I think it's going to do it again. We might have to go to a, uh, we might have to go to a, a loader on that one. Hang on a second for you though, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. We'll do the best we got with that one. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Mr. Eli and Corey? <laughs> the, the piles pushing the uh, foot support up in the air. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what's going on, Bird. The uh, the foot support there is actually in the middle of the wood chip. So as it force unloads here on the ground, it's invisible. Uh, this is just a, uh, a mod that somebody else has done, so they didn't actually have a force unload. So we may have to slow up and let the uh, the conveyor take them up. It's a little on the slow side. It looks like the conveyor stopped. Interesting. That might be, um, well, I would say I would know what that's from, but... I mean, I guess it's possible that um, maybe, I'll tell you what, let me pull this forward, if it'll go forward. Oh, there it goes. Oh, uh, if you press Q, you'll hook those two together, and that's usually what happens. So I think what it is, is this just needs to be pulled forward some more, and we need to uh, pull, pull that one uh, and get it on flat ground. Let's try that. Now if we do that, that might actually, that might, that might kind of help us there. Yeah, here, let, let me pull up a little bit, get out of your way. Alright, there we go. Let's, let's try that and see how it does. If anything, we can always take the, uh, actually, let me go ahead and shut the engine off so it doesn't walk away on us. If it does, we'll go ahead and just take the D6. And we'll bring it over here, and we'll uh, we'll we'll clean up this and just push it into this if we need to. We'll give that a chance to uh, <laughs> let's get the supports back down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man! All right, let's see. Do I got uh, any in that? No. Yeah, if we want to, we'll probably, uh, we have probably at some point we can, uh, we can go ahead and get, uh, something over here and dump into these. So we can grab one of those trucks as well, let them load up into the truck. Uh, or we can, uh, let that pile go ahead and we'll do that. See if this will actually let me load it in here. No, it wouldn't. So I had to forcibly unload that with the trailer, so that's fine. I kind of thought it would do that, but I figured it's worth a shot anyway. Some of this stuff, especially if these custom mods, are a little, a little bit wonky on how they uh, accept certain things. You know, there's only one way to the uh, proverbial rainbow they'll allow you to go. So that's okay, not a problem. We'll just load some of this stuff up, split these up here, catch up with chat here. I know I've, I've seen some stuff going over there, so 
can catch up here once we uh, kind of get to a uh, slow point. Alright, 10,000 seems to be its limit on that, so not too bad. And I know we've got to be just about done on this. Let's see what our uh, let's see what our levels are here. All right, so wood chips uh, 29 uh, board so we're 81 percent done with that one. Uh, so we'll pretty much be done here in the next couple of boards. They'll throw a few out there and then you'll hear it shut off. And actually, it won't be working anymore. So, all right, let me catch up a little bit here. Uh, catch a little bit up here with my uh, with uh, stuff. Hey, what's going on, movie guy? Hope you're doing well, everybody. Nice to see you. Oh, I, I, I welcomed you, Chuck, there in the beginning, man. Uh, I welcomed you, man. Hope you're doing well. Couldn't tune in. That's all right, man. Don't worry about it. What's up, Norway? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Glad to see you guys coming in here to take in a little bit of the... Whoops. Can't do that. I'll get in trouble. Copyright. I see you guys coming here with a little full tilt game, uh, full tilt sawmill, I should say. If you're kind of curious of what's going on, uh, please uh, just let me know. Uh, I'll be kind of go through a little main synopsis. So basically, we're just uh, contractors here on the Emerald Valley. This is a modded map by me myself. It is off the base map here for uh, Emerald Valley with uh, oh, FDR. Pay no attention to what happened over here. <laughs> <laughs> that the beast, I didn't even touch it. It just flipped the. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right, man. We'll uh, let me go grab something. We'll we'll turn it back over. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Daniel too much. <laughs> Don't even need to do stuff, and it happens. Well, I missed the laugh afterwards, man. <laughs> all right, so we'll get over here and uh, we'll turn this back over. So basically, we are contractors here in Emerald Valley. Uh, we actually got some custom home sites because we're in the production process right now, actually making all of this stuff happen. So we've got uh, plywood going on. Uh, we've also got a few other things. We've got lumber going on. We've got our wood chips pile is uh, starting to uh, amass here, so that's going to be good for us. There we go. Get that flipped up there for you. What the? I don't understand. Oh, I wonder what I wonder what's going on there. Might be put oh boy. Oh wow. Well that I was Yeah, that was a little icy ass. there, buddy. And that was icy on my side, that's weird. Okay. Um alright, whatever it is, it's forcibly unloading now, so let me turn that off so we can get it into a uh um... scrap a truck and rearrange them logs that flew all over. Yeah, that's weird man. I don't know if I've ever seen it do that. All right, so let's there let's go. Let's let's try that. Let's see what happens. I'll uh we'll bring a bucket scoop over. We'll clean that up. <laughs> hey, what's up, Tyler? Uh, yeah, I, I once I actually get into an actual full time setup here where I can get everything set up the way I want to. Right now, it's kind of a mess. I've just got stuff laying everywhere. Uh, and I actually want to try to put things up in a in a in a rangeable manner here that it looks uh, that so that that's appealing. So I mean, you'll actually be able to see more than just my face. I've got a couple of cams, so we'll be doing a, a control cam as well as face cam for those particular uh, games that you might want to see a little bit of both. Uh, so we we definitely got a, a little bit uh, here planned on the on the front side of both of those. So uh, that is definitely coming, just not quite yet, just because I'm not in a uh, an actual you know permanent spot. So I kind of jumped ahead of the gun there and put that away. I'll pull in here and uh, let me go. How you doing, Nick? Do you need to... Uh, is it working now a little better? Oh, well, I'm just picking up the logs that flew all over the place. Okay. Yeah, uh, Nick Knack. What's up, man? No, these are all public mods. Uh, now, the map is, uh, is mine. Uh, well, I won't say mine, but it is heavily monitored by myself. So it is actually mine, but uh, everything else, a, a part of it, uh, is all uh, you know public. Um, you can actually find the base map there from FDR uh, and the like. So 
I think what it is, it doesn't let you let this pile get too high. I think that's part of our problem there. So we'll just have to continually keep moving this, man. I think that's part of the problem. Alright, so we'll get that going again. Alright, so there's that. We'll fold the wheels in. See if we can actually get this turned to the side. And then we'll... Uh, maybe. Well, if not, we'll definitely have... Uh... Come on down, come on down. There you go. There we go. There we go. So I guess at some point this is about as high as they want you to pile the, uh, the wood chips, which is kind of kind of bad, whatever. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and let's turn us on some lights now that we're uh, here in the dark. Yeah, farming sims got plenty of them, man. Uh, you know, you know the you know the drill. Especially when you got a lot of mods on here, sometimes you just you know, like I said, uh, like I said earlier, some of this stuff, you know, it works great if it's working great in tandem with something else, uh, and if it uh, has something else that it's kind of you know clashing against, or there's a little little something or another with them that we don't really know, a uh, hitbox or some kind of collision zone, it can kind of cause some wrecks for you. But other than that, <laughs> one dislike. <laughs> yeah, well, screw it, man. It's all right. Should we keep chipping, or we got enough for now? Um, well, I tell you what, let's go ahead and see what we've got. Uh, let's go ahead and fill those trucks up, and uh, we'll throw those here and get our plywood. We'll get them off and rolling, because uh, we, we can still keep going with the uh, the plywood, get it up and running. Um, I've got a couple of pallets over there ready to take off, so we can go ahead and speed it up through the night. And I'll go ahead and fill work on filling this truck. If you want another bucket, I can grab another bucket, do whatever. I can just run the truck and be fine. Okay. And we can uh, we can just run those things straight off of uh, the random. Um, oh, we can run it off the beast if you wanted to. Did we already chip all those trees up? Good lord, we did, didn't we? Almost all of them. Just missed what it threw out, basically. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Spitzer. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> Alright, so this will be the last one here. So that one's actually making our second pile. So that's what it was, Nick. Man, that thing just didn't like keep on piling on to that one. So uh, we'll go ahead. I'll throw a few more into this if we need to. Um, tell you what, this, let me know how fast this actually. Uh, How about that? How does that work? 8, 9, 80, 81, 82, 84, 85. Goes pretty fast. Okay. Well, it's just going to make us a new pile there, so it's, <laughs> it's all good. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead. While you're finishing out and up, go ahead and grab these two here uh, production plants. Go ahead and get them fired up and running. Uh, I'm going to turn on a few lights over here so I can see, and then we'll... Uh, then we'll go ahead and get this back up. We'll get both of these lumber pallets. Uh, we'll get all this stuff enabled. There we go. And if you want lights over there, Nick, I think you have to turn them on yourself to get that mod to work. They'll work on mine, but I don't think they'll show for you. So you have to actually go over and enable those yourself. Uh, where is it? Uh, the floodlights, the big light poles. Okay. So I, I can turn them on for myself, but I don't believe you'll be able to see those. All right. So I get, yeah, I got them all. Uh, all right, so uh, pretty much what we're going to do, guys, is take uh, we're going to take our lumber here that coming out of our main plates. Uh, we'll take those pallets, and we're going to attempt to stack them. When we did this a test earlier, it may get a little icy and dicey, but uh, I think things should be okay because we uh, we did manage to do it. It wasn't the prettiest, but we'll see if we can't make it a little prettier. I've definitely got to get this off. Uh, get these off so we can actually get them to uh, continue to start making some new stuff. Pretty, pretty loaded up there. Whoops. I 
All right, so there we'll start seeing uh, some new stuff start coming up. There's a new pallet being uh, made there. So we'll get these off to the dryer. Now, this is not an actual fully functioning kiln, but we're going to pretend it is. But anything about lumber, you pretty much need to dry that lumber before you actually use it and construct anything with it. Oh, some nasty hitbox right there. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so I've got to stay away from that one. Holy crap. That might have been our problem earlier, Nick. <laughs> I just ran into a nasty hitbox right there. I'm not sure what it's on either. Interesting. Yeah, you can go there and hit F uh, if you got the developer tool on, man. Hit that F5 and take a peek at it. <laughs> it's bad. I have to I'll have to figure out what that is. It's got something to do with the uh, the gas line or uh, one of these things, but we should be good for one in here. So hopefully this isn't a massive fail. You just wanted wood chips on these two, right? Yep. All right, so I'm going to have to... All right, so that hitbox is all around that, so I'm going to have to move it off of that. Uh, looks like that's something... Okay, that's got to be a fuel, a fuel plane. I'll have to fix that. That's part of the map. That's not anything I've got in here. So my apologies there, viewers. Well, uh, I'll get that fixed. See if we can squeeze this bad boy in here. That's what she said. Like a glove. Let's see if we can get it off. Perfect. Perfect. Coming a professional, but yeah, man, I, I, you know, I've always done it, Spence. I mean, I've always done modding in some shape or form with like X-Plane. I do a lot of 3D custom uh, airport object stuff. Uh, I work a lot with it. So, I mean, this was kind of like second nature, kind of coming over here, learning a new pro program and uh, trying to do something. You know, being a productive member of communities, I mean, that's what it's about. Um, you know, being able to plug back in and offer something to somebody else. Because, you know, you think about it, so many people have invested so much thinking time into making this stuff uh, for everybody to use. So, um, you know, to be able to neglect my skills and, and not use them to, to try to better what's going on, you know, be a little on the bad side. So I'll do what I can and share what I can. And um, I, I'll see if, if everything turns out to be okay with this map, you know, for especially PC guys. I may look at uh, offering this this edit uh, out there once the series up and done and we're moving on to the next place. I think especially for a, uh, for a, especially a logging series, this map is a lot better than the, the base map for this. Man, this is this this forklift is way better, Nick. This Looks thing, pretty smooth. Yeah, this thing is way better than the other one. Oh, come on, Ryan. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. And let's make it through. Let's get. I want to get a couple more things done here. We'll let things go through the night. Um see what else we got going on here so I think uh, depending on what production wise we got going on is there anything down here I tell you what let's go ahead and are we got any wood chips in these down here Nick I don't think so but Nothing there's yet. plenty in the semi all right let's go ahead let's dump them out here let's get both of these rolling too and then we'll go ahead and set up our next uh, we'll go ahead and start taking some equipment here to our next uh, location which will be Number location number nine. Uh, we've got number nine to start on, so we'll be able to take a trip through the whole map. Uh, we've got a few things there. We've got a new little home site there on number eight that we've done. We've got a surprise off of number two that we'll wait to the last bit, uh, and then we'll, we'll take these up to nine and just kind of mark off where we're going to be uh, actually taking trees out. So we can at least go ahead and get that part done. So Nick's bringing that. So if you want to, Nick, when you come back around, we'll just go ahead and load these back up. I'll go ahead and fold these, uh, and fold these back in here, and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and load it up with some more. Because actually, I don't think those things really take much wood chips to kind of get things up and rolling.
Alright, so there's that. Think of there, uh, Daniel Van Steen. Daniel, I should think it's the way that should read. Thank you for the sub there, bud. What'd you say, Nick? I'll just uh, put the beast away for now. Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. We should have enough there on that pile uh, to keep going. I'll keep a track here on this and see what we got. Um, this is rolling. We out of wood chips. No, we're good there. Oh, we're full. So if you want to grab the other one, man, let's go ahead and uh, actually spit up time through the night to make it through. So if you want to grab the other forklift, uh, let's go ahead and unload these real quick, and then we'll finish that uh, the other press board. We'll get a couple of those made. So we might just take, uh, we'll have four of these. So let's uh, let's keep it at four of these and four of the plywood. We'll take those up to home site number five, uh, and that will be uh, that will be ours. And then we'll go ahead and set up for nine, and then we'll have you ready. And that way, you guys will know what we'll be doing there. Uh, here in the Full Tilt Sawmill for episode number three. This will be what we'll be on. Um, let's see, Mr. Frosty, let me let me uh, actually move this so I can see the full chat here. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we, we did about three or four episodes. Gosh, Nick, when did, when did we do that, Dino? Was it uh, two weeks ago? Uh, probably more than that. I know I was about four weeks ago, almost a month, and then uh, he, he did a few more episodes. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure, Mr. Frosty. I mean, he kind of dictates, you know, hey, I'd like to finish that up or do this or do that. And, you know, we just got to try to be there. So there's really no, honestly, there's no rhyme or reason to, you know, when or where we do stuff. That's kind of typical, you know. Everyone's got jobs, and um, everybody's got their own things they're involved with. So that's the way it is. I'm going to try to make this series an every Friday thing, so if you guys, you know, want to, I'm going to try to do it early where I can kind of stay out of the way of a lot of other guys as well. Uh, you know, feel free, come on and put this on your calendar. I'm going to try to make Friday nights a full till sawmill night every Friday. So we'll continue this series as long as you guys still like it uh, and still want to see more here at Full Tilt Sawmill. We'll continue to take this and uh, move this all around to different maps. Uh, and have a multiple logging site setups and uh, hopefully as more mods come out we'll have lots more to add uh, and be the addition on so hopefully we'll be lots to lots to be uh, checking out so here is uh, one it's already covered up now tip of these things actually do supposedly look like this uh, I need to find the mod that allows it without the cover because there is one of those uh, but this is uh, pretty much what we got here on the back side it's 8,000 uh, is our capacity here of uh, plywood at least that's what they give us so load this up. We'll take it over there, right where Nick is unloading his, uh, and then we'll have uh, we'll have at least these. If we can get a we'll get a few more of these going. Uh, if we can have four and four, I think that'll be a good that'll be a good uh, off take there to the uh, to the house site. That'll at least get our roof on. Uh, we'll get some walls built on the inside and maybe a few exterior stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, Daniel's pretty good, man. He's uh, he he's he's. Uh, He's, he's contagious to be around, we'll put it that way. He's a good kid. I've, uh, I've actually had a you know, pleasure kind of getting to know him here over the past couple of weeks, so he's, uh, he's a good one, man. He's got his own little channel. i got a lot of featured guys there as a part of... Uh, whoops! Oh, no, 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 no. Took the turn too quick. We saved it. i got a couple of featured channels there, so you guys go check those guys out as well. I've got a uh, got a ton on there, so you know we got you know six or seven or up so up there. Uh, all guys have been super supportive here of the channel uh, along the journey here to where I'm at. So thanks to those guys. If you guys want to go check them out, and I think Daniel Von Vatu is on there, uh, so go check him out as well. It does uh, does just does funny videos. No, he has fun playing. That's what it's about. You now you know, sometimes the seriousness gets in the way of just having plum fun. So oh, yeah, I think it, yeah, he is thing is barely going to fit in there but it fits and it ships and that freaking looks legit that's all i'm going to say that looks legit uh what's daniel stands uh daniel von the two it's uh it's the it's the one up there with the little turtle but there's like a his arm on the icon and he's got his thumbs up i think that's him hey turtle boy Uh, yes, he is from Sweden. I believe it's yeah, he's from Sweden. Uh -oh. This one's uh, silo is empty. 
All right, we got one more here, so it's actually producing extremely quick at 30 times. <laughs> I, I think Nick found the crack. <laughs> Just saw him sprint flying across here. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we always try to, uh, we do speed the uh, the work time up and our running speed just so we can get across. From this is a big yard, you know. You guys would get bored to death if, uh, if it required me going over and you know, trying to, whoa, get a little squirrely on there. If it required us, you know, walking across them, I don't think I can lift this thing up any higher and still make, well, yeah, maybe we can. Let's see. Hi right there, Brian. Appreciate that, man. I'll check it out. Thanks for letting me know uh, the name and all that good stuff. And you know, typically, uh, just be honest with, uh, especially guys coming in, uh, not that I don't play a lot, but I honestly don't play a lot. This is the first time in weeks that I've actually sat down and actually played Farm Sim. I've done a lot of testing. I've done a lot of building. Uh, this is actually the first time that I have played in weeks. You know, minus doing a little bit with uh, Raptor here this past weekend. Uh, we did a nice little cool uh, live stream this past week, which was nice just to kind of sit back and be able to have fun with some guys and do something uh, outside of the norm, uh, but definitely is different. Oh, this one looks like it's not going to let me squeeze that in. Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can uh, put that over here then. Something odd. You cannot just dump from a high loader into the press board factory. Really? Yeah, they just kind of pile up there over the grate and don't go in. Huh. Just have a weird tip, tip zone. Yeah, I can I can definitely pull it into the editor and we can check it out. And I'll need to extend these up just a little bit so we can... Uh, yeah, we'll have to extend these up just a little bit so we can um, um, get get them in the bed a little little bit tight on the bottom side so I need to I need to stretch those mods up just a little bit so we get a little bit extra running room there yeah <laughs> nope not in the Viper Cub you won't <laughs> what is Von Vatu I'm not sure I'm uh, assuming that is something that is Swedish I have no idea don't do you know Nick that's just his nickname okay go some stuff rolling into this let's go over here we'll check out oh there we go we get filled on that one completely uh, so we get one more on that It'll be 8,000 so let's see that should be um, one two so we need two more so we got one here it's almost done and one on the other side there that is finished so that'll be our four of those four of those we'll take those up and put them in the bank at our new site up there I'll How's grab this Chips. Uh, yep, it just ran out. Well, it stopped. The chips are at 24%. It actually got uh, 2%, so it's, it's still got uh, still got a few chips in there, but yeah, I could take some more. I'll put a few more in the other one. What's going on, Mr. Wayne Bowman? Let me hop in. I'll take a check. Uh, take a uh, look here. So we got eleven thousand back in it. So Hock Schnitzel. Uh, it must be what wood chips are. Hock Schnitzel. Interesting. Oop, let me uh, let me update some things here because if not, uh, I don't believe if I don't do this, then I won't get any alerts with anything. So uh, we'll see. there we go. Now we're back up. Thanks, you guys, that have subbed here. We're at 1757, so we put on quite a few, 1520 tonight. So thank you to everybody here that has thrown in a subscription here to FTG. Don't forget, uh, this series will continue at least as much as I possibly can every Friday night. We'll continue here with the Full Tail Sawmill. Uh, and I got a lot of other things in the works. We're going to actually try to put the finish up the video there for the community spotlight with all the farming videos. Uh, and actually going to actually start doing some farming at some of these other maps. I've got a few other really good ones here in the mix that I'm going to be starting on. Uh, and we'll actually get to some FTG farming. So I know some of you guys have been kind of looking forward and kind of wanting some of that as well. 
Uh, so we'll uh, we'll definitely get some of that going uh, here in the near future. Uh, I've just really been caught up on doing this logging thing. I've really had a good time with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the series, uh, especially to, you know, those those videos that are out there that you guys actually like. Uh, you know, go throw a like on it, throw a comment and say, hey, man, do more stuff like this. I really enjoyed this. I really enjoyed that. Uh, you know, you don't have to be soppy about it, but hey, just let me know. Hey, man, this was really cool. I enjoyed this. Um, and then I will continue to kind of take that into account and uh, try to, you know, you know, do some cool stuff here that we can all kind of come around and have a good time and uh, enjoy stream with. Because without y'all, there is really no reason to me streaming to the thin air of the internet. So uh, I definitely need guys to watch the content. Uh, so you guys do get first dibs and first picks on what you want to see. Thank you there, Michael. Appreciate that. Mods are, uh, you guys do a really good job. So appreciate the work you guys do. Uh, our, you know, streams are usually fairly light and pretty lax. So uh, everybody that comes in is very respectful of everybody, which uh, is the way I would like it. So much appreciation to everybody that comes in and uh, acts like somebody. So thank you there, Mr. Gregory Walker. There, joining FTG United. Appreciate the subscription. <laughs> yeah. You need a, uh, what was it, Nick? We did a spin tires video with Daniel. Um, which one was that? Do you remember the title on that one? Like it was something weird. Channel is the only spin tire video he has, actually. Okay. This went up about three, four days ago. <laughs> okay. All right. So, go, yeah, go check that out, uh, Mr. Frosty. That was a great one in the last spin tires video. It was like me and Nick T and Daniel. And uh, I don't know what happened in the beginning, but something glitched and it shot his truck halfway across the map. So he just thought that was hilarious. So there's actually a couple of really good uh, moments in that video, man. We, we all had a good hee-haw on that one. So that's good. Well, thank you for subscribe. Appreciate that, man. Um, and I'm glad you guys enjoy the content. It's all I, all I try to do. Have a good time. Give everybody a place to belong uh, and something good to watch on a good Friday night, man. Uh, I was always gaming on the weekdays. I never really wanted to go out and do much. So um, uh, here I am, family still wanting to game on the weekends or game on the nights, and eh, it's just not. You know, it's, is it going to let me? Uh, nope. I'm going to have to. Oh yeah, it does. But that's okay. It's probably going to be hard to get that out. We'll see. Have yeah, that. I just dropped a link to Daniel's uh, spin tire video that you're in. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Y'all can check that out if we get done with every live stream here the next couple, man. You can check that out. It's pretty good. Yeah, both of the flying happens in the first night. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I think what we'll do, if you want to, Nick, uh, I will work on grabbing. We've got four pallets of that. I'm going to get both of these lumbers off here. So we'll have four lumber, four plywood. We'll take these up, and we'll stack them up down there here at home site number five. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get a, a minimal list there and load out. And we'll go ahead and take those up to nine and load up things as much as we can. Uh, and we'll just take all that to the bank. Do we need a forklift on a low boy or a, just a trailer behind a truck? Um, we've got the in. If you go grab that flatbed uh, red and white tractor, now that thing will auto load it. Uh, it's a little on the wonky side, like it's uh, it's not your typical auto load style. Um, so I can do it or you can mess with it. I mean, it's either way, it doesn't matter. Um, or uh, or we can uh, we can pull them off here and we'll load them up and pull the auto load on right here on the side of the saw. Let's do that. Let's do that. That's going to be a little easier. Are these both the same? Uh, yes. So go ahead and pull um, that one. I'll grab the other one. Just pull them there in front of that place and we'll just bring them up to it and we'll turn the auto load once we get off. That, that way it's just... Speeds video up, and you know people won't have to sit there and watch us fiddle around with with wonky lumber pallets. You just need to set it uh, once you uh, once you get up here and actually pull your uh, thing is to activate a work position, but you actually have to change it to uh, big uh, big pallets, bigger pallets. Then that'll do it. Well, thank you there, Angela. That's what we strive for. Um, everybody's everybody's great. I mean, I, I enjoy the time here. This is it's a lot of fun. So glad you guys enjoy it. Yeah, that's a hitbox, man. It's a it's a sell point. Um, and actually, yeah, we're gonna barely miss it, but 
uh, yeah. We put an uh, all press board on one and all the wood on the other? Or? Yeah, let's do that. Yep, so there it goes. We just turn the auto loader on that way. It just kind of loads it up for us there. And we don't have to uh, go through this. You know, it can, it can get a little bit tedious here, especially when like these, when it's kind of in there a little bit crooked. I'll be lucky if I get this one out in one piece. Although, oh, no. Let's try that again. Oh, I like how the camera goes down to the forks. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, is that question for me, Benson? Or Michael? I guess that was Michael playing anything new lately. Yeah. Alright, so there's two on that. So we'll, uh, there's Nick going for our uh, press board there. Got on there. Posts. Yeah, if it's stuck there, uh, you can grab those other two. It, I know I kind of, when I got in there, I was like, yeah, I kind of stuffed that in there. <laughs> My bad. Hey, what's going on, Mill and Hoots? How are you? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to FTG Full Tilt Sawmill. Glad to see you here. I don't know about that one. All right, well, tell you what, if you want to, uh, I know these two up here on the upper ones there a little bit. Let me see if I can kind of wedge it out. If I can at least wedge it out here, then. Um, oh, you know what we could do? I didn't even think about this. Um, let's see, what's on? Is that, uh, yes. Let me see if I can do this. I don't know if it'll. Ah, we just muscle mode it out. Think of there, uh, who's that? Tom Conlon. Is that right? Yeah, thank you, buddy. Appreciate the subscription there. Glad you're enjoying the content. There we go. And we'll just, uh, you can muscle, if, if it gets stuck in there, Nick, and you can't get it to pull out, just, I've got muscle mode in with the creator tool, so just throw it on there and it'll, it'll you can actually pull it out. Uh, no, I do not know the squad. I know of them, uh, but I don't actually personally know any of them. Oh. Uh. Speaking of the squad, Nick, what was your magic thing you managed to acquire that they could not even get close to getting? Uh, fireworks? Yeah. <laughs> fireworks? <laughs> so, for the 4th of July, Nick managed to find some fireworks mods for Farm Suit. Quad tried clapping, they could not find those fireworks at all. Nice. Well, Nick is the man, like I said. Let's activate that. All right, I will be back in probably about five minutes. Yeah, okay. Oh, Nick. <laughs> yeah, my, my muscles are so strong that I put it over. <laughs> <laughs> they were talking about me. But you'll have to link me up to that sub scrub. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I would love to. I mean, I'm all for getting to know as many guys as I can. Um, that'd be awesome. I mean, I, you know, I, I mean, they do good stuff. I mean, they, they, as some people, they always say you get a little upset with, with guys and especially in the uh, YouTube world, there's a lot of competition for viewers, you know, I mean, it's the same with networks and anything else. And, you know, unfortunately, like the mods, once they get released, like everybody gets them. So at some point, you know, some people will you know, always call people out on certain stuff and stuff, but, uh. You know, I've, I've, I used to watch their stuff, especially on console, because they took these ridiculous mods and did funny stuff with them. Um, so, yeah, send me a link to the video, man. I'd love to, love to know how they were talking about me. I might want to back that up in case they were talking bad about me. Uh, yes, I do, Melody. Uh, actually, Mr. Nick T is actually the setup guy there for Raptors, so we got him in for the first time. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know Nick. Uh, so you guys all spam some we love some Nick in here. I don't you don't have to. It's just some rapper does. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. <laughs> As I said, you're too kind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we done some done uh, diner diner with him. Um, we've done we've done a few of those. We've done uh, quite a few farm sim related stuff and hopefully some of these days we've been trying to get into doing some crossfire. Uh, or no, cross out, not crossfire. 
Uh, we're doing some cross out as well, which is actually a lot of fun. So hopefully I can get some streams with that, um, and uh, you know, see how things go. Man. Tell, you, tell you what, here, let me let me see if I can lift this down, and then that that may make it a little bit easier. Yeah, they they're easy to put in there, but you can't yeah. get enough lift to pull them out. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's, yeah that's what happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> How many cans of spinach you eat a day after uh, uh, enough. <laughs> hey, what's up, G Force man? Biggest fan. <laughs> I think they said something about a building or mod you were working on. Well, now I let me let me let me be honest about that. Um, um, there is another FTG. Um, I'm, I'm full tilt gaming, but this guy is known as FTG. Like, I don't believe there's, it's not an acronym for something bigger. So that's very well possibly could have been the case, uh, that they're actually talking about him. So I'm not actually working on a building unless they're talking about this, this mod right here. Cause this is all you, you won't be able to find this anywhere else. All right. So Nick has got one more left here. So I'm going to go ahead uh, while he's doing that. Let me just go ahead and clean up a few things here. Uh, as I'm going, um, and we may go ahead. Uh, let's see what we got over here. So we got more press board stuff going up now. Wood chips are pretty good here. Uh, actually, enjoy using the dozer. That's pretty cool. All right, so we got both Scorpion Kings loaded up on load boys. So I'm going to go ahead, Nick, while you're doing it. Let me know when you get that last one loaded up. And uh, we'll drive down uh, with you. And we'll even take one of these trailers. And let's go ahead and um, we'll take uh, we'll take two of those forklifts with us. Go ahead and unload them there on the place. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's up, Blazed Gaming in Z? How are you doing? Oh, wait, who's that? Baby Rue Horsehead. We love Nick. Nick's the man. A lot of love out there for you, Mr. Nick. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> As you can see, he is a humble soul. That's why we like him. <laughs> all right, so. I'm just glad we can all have fun together. That's what's the most important. That's it. Make friends, have some fun, put on a show. What else could you want? There you go, man. <laughs> Ron. <laughs> oh, it's no. I tell you what, it's not as bad as uh, Ron sent me a Steam uh, Steam profile for uh, a dad in the shower game. That was pretty sketchy. It was a real game that you actually buy. I was like, this is probably outlawed in a lot of countries. <laughs> oh, by the way, Ryan, that uh, that downloads ready. I totally forgot. So we uh, running scorpions out, or you want to do the wood? Yeah, let's go ahead and run the wood. Um, I tell you what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and do this because uh, we can actually load them up on this. I've got a tilt deck here, so let me hook the uh, tilt deck up to our uh, F350. And if you want to, go ahead and let's uh, see if we can't pull at least one of those forklift mods up, or we can pull both of them up on here, uh, and we'll take those with us. That'll be fun. I have to take forklifts with us since we can't attach the forklifts to the back of the trailer. Uh, we'll just have to kind of go with second best. So uh, let me spin this thing around so you can get a straight shot on there. All right, let's see. There we go. Uh, let me move uh, wheels up, one or back. There we go. All right, see if that, there we go. Nice. So we'll go and I'll grab the other one. We'll take that one down with us. I think it'll work if you back it on so the forks contain. Alright. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Go. So let's. I uh, think we can lock the load down. Yes, we can. Um, I got to figure out which one the two key is. There we go. So lock that and. Whoop! Nope! 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 
about screwing myself up there. There we go. Ooh, that's a heavy load. All right, let's hurry up. Up, 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 up. Okay, it looks like they're going to slide off there, so they're locked in right now, but we'll see how long that lasts. All right, man, what's the other there? Keep it. Is that five to lower? All right, let's try that. Let's see. Let's see if we make it to the other side. All right. Hey, there you go, John. Well, congrats, man. Yeah, you know, we've all been there, dude. I, I've seen the same exact people, and I've watched the same people, and said, you know, I wonder if I can do that. And, and in some case, uh, you just don't know until you get out there and try it. So, congratulations, bud. Uh, I would say I'm proud of you, but that might get weird on stream. So, we'll keep it at I'm proud of you. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> it's <laughs> you go run the battery. I know, man. We're, we're trying to get there pretty quick without. Uh, we, we needed a little top light there. It's starting to get a little di a, a little dim here uh, in old Emerald Valley, so we needed that little extra bit of light. The trailer's holding both of those things pretty good. So uh, thank you there, KDG James. Thanks for the subscription there, buddy. Appreciate that. As we pull up here to our uh, nice home site, a nice picturesque view here. Uh, you guys saw in episode one, we cleared out this whole spot here. Uh, we've even put a couple of decorative oak trees in here. We'll put a few more decorations uh, in and around, maybe some grills, maybe a few little patios or a little gazebo or something like that in there. Be, be kind of try to dress it up as much as possible. And those things are just going to fall right off, I'm afraid. Um, they almost did. Thank you there, Kravis or Kravis. Get this thing, I get a little, uh, there we go. So I have to uh, rethink that on the way back, but we'll uh, we'll see what we can get going on here. So we'll, uh, let's move this back up. You Maybe. Want to go grab the other truck? Yeah, if you want to. Um, I'll get this pulled off to a, uh, I'll get this pulled off here to we can pull those back up and, and uh, we'll haul these right back off to the thing. Now this is actually something we're going to test. Um, no, I tell you what, just put those right on the front steps, man. That's where we're going to put those. So we've got two uh, two options there with that trailer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. I'll pull them off here right in front. So if you want to bring that other one up, well, we'll see what we can uh, get going on here. So uh, we'll uh, work position off and let's. Uh, So there's our choices. So let's, uh, we're going to put them right there and we're going to offload them. All four, boom, there it is. The joys of auto loading, because y'all have seen us sit there for like 15 minutes trying to do that. So, what's going on 3 p.m. Central Sander time? How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the live stream here. Welcome to the Full Tilt Sawmill. Guys, don't forget if you haven't, go ahead and throw a like up on the video if you haven't. Um, much appreciated. It does definitely help. We've had a great viewership tonight. We've got 47. So you know there's some guys in there. Hit that like button. Uh, hey, look. Oh. <laughs> Dang it, <right> Nick. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to. Uh, that's okay. That's all right. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, man, man. Nick just came in and cleaned up, man. All right, so you'll have to um, you have to activate where you want to drop them off at. So you have to turn the the workload off, work mode, and then you got to pick the left, right, or the back to unload it. So if you want to try to unload it on the left side, you should see like a big old blue square, and then you'll see the unload here. Uh, no, it's not, Brian. Uh, the uh, everything is uh, everything is public the only thing that is private on here that is not available to anybody is um <clears throat> is the map i think yeah i'll let you do it because i think the creator tools are covering oh yeah you know what that might be uh, being on a gamepad uh kind of does some of that so um whew, this is might get a little this might get a little icy guys so yeah i don't know how that's going to work that's going to be a little that's gonna be a little weird. Um, hmm. 
because they're all mixed now. Yeah. Well, um, you know what? Just stab them and see what happens. It'll either go where really good need, or it'll go really bad. Do we need to put what? What do we need to put where? Let's just let's just. Uh, I tell you what, man. Um, since those just literally unloaded them right here in the front doorstep, let's just leave them right there, uh, and we'll. Uh, I don't see. I don't see any need to do anything with them at this point. Um, actually, just to go ahead and test it while we're here, it's not anything. It's gonna go ahead and see if you can pull one off there, and let's see what happens with it, and see if it uh, really clashes really bad. Since we've got them mixed up, you'll probably wind up pulling both pallets up at the same time. And on the other side of there is a cell place where all these are actually going to go into, and then that's going to help build. Um, it's going to build our cabin here. So you guys, especially that are here and that are wondering what the heck is you doing, I see we've got quite a few people here uh, that are watching. Uh, so welcome to all of you first off. Uh, don't forget though a subscription here if you enjoy this or enjoy any of the other content here with FTG. Um, and uh, don't forget you can. I've got some social media stuff there scrolling. I'm active on all that. So please jump in there. Follow me there on those as well. Uh, but we are basically uh, FTG Contracting Incorporated, and we are actually throwing a bunch of stuff up here in the mountains of Emerald Valley uh, on a heavily modded map here by myself here on the base Emerald Valley from FDR. Um, so they've done a really good job providing a good base for this. I've just done a lot of texturing and adding in some uh, Giants Editor items like this wonderful log cabin here uh, with a wonderful picturesque view here of the Emerald Cove, uh, as you can see here. So beautiful uh, little scenic uh, cabin here to have uh, so we'll be able to actually see this is going to actually start taking a little bit of shape you guys will start to see this uh, actually come to life uh, we'll have multiple uh, sides going up we'll have the roof going up uh, all kinds of cool stuff going on with it so definitely be something every Friday night around 9 30 I started a little late tonight that I wanted to uh, but we'll say 9 30 or 10 o'clock be here be square uh, with the FTG here at the Full Tilt Sawmill, and we'll be running a new series uh, as long as you guys want to see it. Uh, we'll continue to take this and move it around to different maps uh, and do what we can. So I hope you guys will stay tuned uh, for that. So it'll be uh, big exciting to see. So we're actually good, Nick. This uh, We only brought four of each, so we don't have actually any crossed up. They just kind of got wonky there. So uh, Do you want me to put them in, in the square? Or what? Yeah, yeah, see it, put it in the square. Let's see if it sells. I, I honestly don't even know. I don't know if it's going to work. It may not work, and that's okay if it doesn't. And it doesn't, and that's okay. I had no I had no idea if it would actually sell the pallet of lumber off. Um, so that's fine. We've uh, I've actually got another idea that we'll do for that. So well, let's go ahead, and uh, I'm actually going to stick the plywood on this side because that's where we're going to actually build it. And uh, then we'll take that lumber on your side over there as well. We'll just go ahead and do this real quick. And it's kind of the first rule there, uh, G-Force. You know, everybody that's uh, modding here for me, uh, just been here and been active. And that's that's really, you've been here and been active. But, uh, you know, I, I just, it doesn't ever look good, to, uh, you know, to be, to be uh, asking for it there on live stream. Uh, nobody really gives out mods for asking for it. Man, I'm just having a heck of a time tonight. What's wrong? <laughs> it doesn't I, really come out. All right, this one's this one's kind of behaving the same way. There it goes. Yeah, these things are definitely finicky. I mean, you, where you where you think you ought to be stout them, they don't they don't really they don't really take too kind of being put there. So. Yeah, having driven real forklifts and telehandlers in real life is not near as frustrating. <laughs> yeah, but I hate that it didn't sell. I was really uh, looking kind of looking forward to that. That's okay. That's all right. We'll put them there anyway. There it goes. <laughs> and we're not gonna ban anybody for it, you know. Hey, he's he knows what he knows. So I mean, you still gotta, you know, it's not like all is lost. I mean. Just, uh, just be here, man. Just be here and chill and have fun. And, uh, you know, really, honestly, the mods, I mean, I could I could take all the mods away right now. And, and uh, you know, honestly, we'd be fine. I mean, we've not really had any problems tonight. And uh, everybody respects the stream. And that's what it's about, man. Just having, having a good time. Um, so it's all good, guys. You know, don't worry about it. Everybody's good. Oh, I hear you. 
Yeah, so there you go. So he was, uh, you know, a little joke there from mine. That's it's it's typically what always gets asked in every live stream. I think everybody knows that. But unfortunately, G4 she should have let us know that was a joke. LOL. That would have helped. I got you. I got you. I'm with you now. All right, so let's get this last one, uh, get this last lumber one over here. Oh, is that going up? Oh, maybe, maybe. These things, honestly, man, these pallets are hard, man. They're hard if you're um, on a multiplayer server. They're not that hard if you're the actual host of it because things work like they should. Joking, this is serious. What? <laughs> this serious business over here, FTG. Tell you what. Alright, let's see if we get this these last two out of there. I mean well, well might oh Okay, a little wonky, but we're there. We're there. Oh, oh, and we lost him. You know what? I'm just going to pick the pallet up, and we're just going to shove it over there. How about that? All right, so when you get done there, uh, I'll go ahead and roll the back down on this, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, we'll see if we can get these up here on one time, uh, one piece now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Nick Strongman there. I, I am Ryan. I I you know I got enough in my life, man, to be sweating the small stuff, bro. <laughs> Life is busy enough, man, so it's, it's gaming, you know, it's, it's time to have some fun. Time to enjoy just hanging out and being with other guys. That's why I started the streaming stuff, you know. I started the streaming stuff so I could actually be around a lot of the guys that uh, that enjoy doing the same thing and give us all something to, uh, to kind of rally behind or rally around. Uh, it's a good thing. All right, so we'll... Uh, We'll leave both of these guys here. We'll leave it. We'll get Nick here, get him loaded up. And Nick, I guess if you want to, man, just hang on for the ride. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. Let's go get a little icy. <laughs> we need to bring out the battle. <laughs> this is elementary. Of course, Nick drives like an elementary. No, I'm just kidding, Nick. <laughs> there he goes. There he's up. All right, so we'll fold that down, and let's hurry up and lock the load. There we go. Locked in, ready to rock and roll. Let's make it happen, Captain. I should really like this. I uh, like the truck, flatbed. I wish I had some rails on it, you know, a little bit of, little bit of dirt to it. But the trailer's got a, a nice, um, I don't know, what's the, actually, let me, let me move that back just a little bit. I actually got a very nice... Um, I think of the best way to explain it. It's got a it's got a nice feel to it. The trailer feels like it's like it's legit, like it's real. That's the only thing. And hopefully, um, you know, I got a good block on this load. So that's good. Uh, so we'll go to our last little bit here. We'll uh, go ahead and load out here, get some Scorpion Kings down to home site number nine. And uh, we'll get ready to do some other production stuff here coming up here next week here on the Full Tilt Sawmill. So thank you guys for uh, for joining in here with us. We'll still be going for a little bit. What's going on, Mr. Otto? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're doing well. Great to see you here stop by. Took us a while to finally get going tonight. You, were, I think you were streaming some PUBG or playing some PUBG, so... If you guys like some PUBG, go check out Otto. He does a lot of a lot of player unknown battlegrounds. Interesting concept if you like that kind of survival, uh, that go at it with that survival and guns and all that good stuff, scavenging for things. Your name is DJ Funky Kid. What is up, man? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for jumping in here to the live stream and subscribing here with FTG. 
We're just going to pull this right here. A couple other things we're just going to do real quick here. Nick's got one loaded up there. Uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna, while I'm at it, we'll just go ahead and speed things up at least enough up here to the beginning of the day. At least uh, we'll pretend that we slept through the night. So we don't, don't drive off a cliff in the dark? Yeah, well, let me save game first. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we actually get a full view of the map here. So this, uh, like I said, guys, uh, hopefully, uh, let, me, let me not go the wrong way. Make a left there. Sorry. Almost I forgot know. the way. Daniel was here. He could just fly these over to site nine. Yeah, I know, right? Over at site B. So we got, uh... Swedish kid has gone airborne yet, yet again. <laughs> So we got a few different home sites there. If you're just joining us here, uh, thanks for joining here. Um, and I hope you catch up with these live series here with uh, episode one. This is episode two of the series. We'll continue to keep these going. But basically the premise and the idea here is that we are uh, custom home site builders here. And we've found a couple of really good sites for some potential home site customers. Uh, and we've uh, done some grading, done some concrete work, done some texturing, and done some placement here inside to really kind of bring this map to life. Of course, as you saw, uh, go back and, you know, search through the video at some point and find uh, some good areas there where we showcase a lot of the map. I've done some terrain. We brought some graders in here and had them do some uh, terrain work here on the map. So I got a few things that I would like to change and make a little bit better. Um, but uh, overall, this is I'm pretty happy with it to be my first modification or heavy mod on uh, on a new map. So um, at some point, we may uh, I actually like to see if I can make this uh, an editable map. See if anybody is interested in it. Uh, we've got gates here off to all the potential home sites there on our far right. There to number six is going to be another house site uh, that we've got going on down there. A great view there on the backside of Emerald Cove and the Kitson Creek. So they've actually got a creek in their backyard, so we've got a couple of plans for down there. Uh, thank you there, the Builder's Eye. Thank you for the sub there, bud. I might need a little bit of a shove. I let myself... Here we go. I need a little bit more than a low boy. I think it's a little dicey on these heels. Graders didn't level them out quite enough. But uh, here we go. we got got... Uh, up in here, we'll have this uh, gate actually close. Everything's uh, animated there with the gates. So we'll actually put some fencing and some other stuff up uh, once we get going. We've got a nice little uh, place there, weekend place there for somebody that is uh, just built up here on the side of the mountain. But that's one of the cheapies, so we'll get down here to home site number nine. We'll showcase what we're doing. Actually, had the concrete guys went ahead, came through here, uh, and laid out all of our concrete, got us all set and ready to go for a nice little smooth driveway into uh, the backside of the Dakotan Lake. So, uh, cool stuff here with a full tilt sawmill. We've got another uh, nice chalet is going up here. And the cool thing about this chalet, you guys will notice here in the next coming episodes, is we're actually going to be able to build onto that. So, I'm going to continually build onto these inside the editor and add to and uh, actually bring these things to a full completion. So, at some point, we'll bring all of our lumber, production, and everything. We'll put gazebos out here. We'll put some other objects, grills, lawn chairs. Oh, we'll put whatever it is out here. Whatever you guys want to see, comment on the bottom of these videos. Let me know what's going on. Uh, and we'll uh, and we'll definitely put it up there. So um, we'll be adding on to every single one of these, uh, the, every single one of these as they come along. So this one will be our next one. It's already going up. So our basic idea now is going to be pretty much take everything from about right here. We'll lay off some tape lines here uh, in our next episode, and we'll pull the Scorpion Kings out, and we'll actually take this whole entire bottom half off. So as you're sitting up here on the porch. This is what kind of view you'll have, and obviously you'll kind of see it once these trees are gone. Whoops. I'm just going to scroll up, and yes, the chainsaw's going off, but it's quite okay. You'll see what you got to look forward to there. So they'll have a beautiful view. We'll clear these trees off here all around the side uh, and make it happen there for these wonderful home site buyers. So uh, I'm excited to bring the rest of Full Tilt Sawmill, guys. Uh, thank you. It's there, Mr. Nick, for jumping in kind of here last minute. Get mod straightened out. And I know I got started a lot later uh, than I really anticipated. So I appreciate you guys being uh, patient with me and uh, and kind of trudging through that. So uh, just a few other thanks. Uh, go check out all of my farm, my um, 
FTG United Partners. They're all there on the right side of the channel. I've seen a couple guys in here. Autos came in. Uh, was said uh, something about Daniel's uh, channel there. Obviously, Raptor. Raptor's been really good to the channel. He's been super nice to me, so I'll pay that back to him by doing whatever I can for him and helping out. And uh, obviously, we've had Mr. Nick T here today. He's kind of been his setup man here for the last little bit. So thank you, Nick, for coming in here a little bit short notice and, uh, and jumping in here to the farm as well. Oh, yeah. It's a good time. Yes, always. Yes, no problem there, Bill. I appreciate it, man. Uh, always give shout-outs here where shout-outs are due. Uh, so anytime you guys, guys want to sub, throw some uh, some little tips, or, uh, throw some change in the jar. It is much appreciated. Uh, go check out some of the links on the description, guys. I've got uh, quite a few down there uh, as it is now. We've got some uh, some videos that I was featured in there with Raptor and the Rat Pack. Uh, those guys have been super nice to me in the channel. And always, I got to say, you guys here, uh, old and new FTG. I appreciate you uh, console guys sticking with me and hanging out in these. I always enjoy catching up and, and being able to talk with you guys, especially some that I don't get to talk to as much and um, that's kind of the sad part about you know making moves and doing things uh, even on a small scale of gaming um, sometimes you know you just get split away from people and uh, and and it, and it kind of sucks that way but I thank you for coming and I'm glad that we have this space uh, to be able to entertain each other's presence and have a great time so uh, much appreciation for you guys I am going to try my best this week to get out some new material on something totally different Thank you there, first plays for the subscription there. Um, and um, I'm going to, yeah, Discord. I'm actually on TeamSpeak, man. Um, so uh, anytime you guys want to, I'm actually with the Rat Pack TeamSpeak. <laughs> Thank you there, Benson. I'm sure there's probably somebody who's done a song of that. We'll have to maybe play that song one day, you know. Maybe Whitney Houston, I always love y'all. Maybe we can change it to y'all. Uh, <laughs> we'll put that in there as our closing FTG United. That'd be a little sappy. That, that might get a few dislikes on the video. But uh, at any rate, if you guys want to jump in, please feel free to jump into the Rat Pack server. Links down there. All the instructions are down there. It's a great place. And I always say it's a great place because there's a lot of people there. Otto's there. I'm there. Nick's there. Uh, Chuck and Ryan from uh, the last stream were there. So there's just a collection of a lot of really good gamers that are there and a lot of really good community guys. So especially if you're on PC, uh, and you're looking for guys to play with and play some different games with there's a ton of guys in there it's, it is a huge community so you know, feel free to jump in there tell whoever lets you in tell them say hey FTG sent me uh, and uh, you know I'm sure they'd like to know that as well so and, and I would like for them to know that so uh, thank you builders I appreciate everybody uh, you are more than welcome there Angela McAdams uh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, I always enjoy it. So I am going to bid you guys adieu. Uh, don't forget to like the video here. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and throw a sub up here. We are getting really close to hitting that 2K mark. And I think Blue Type RSX has got a big surprise here at, uh, at 2K. We'll see what he does. Um, and also, if you can, guys, find Mike Means on one of the con uh, comments. Uh, I believe it's Mike Means, M-E-A-N-S, uh, YouTube channel. Go drop him a line or comment on the video or something. Let him know you're thinking about it. Or he's just had a lot of stuff going on. So, um, you know, always be be lifted up there, Mr. Mike. He's a, he's a good one. I, I've enjoyed having him here as a part of FTG. So, uh, anyway, guys, that is it. Uh, and I will uh, I will bid you guys adieu. And we'll uh, be back here, hopefully, very soon here. Hang around here. I'm going to answer some uh, questions here on the chat here. Uh, so, we'll roll our, our new music. I hope you guys love the new music. I am super psyched for it. Uh, but I'll roll it if you guys want to ask questions or throw anything in there. I'm going to hang out and chat in here for the next couple of minutes. So if you guys want to throw some questions up there, I'll do as much answering as I possibly can uh, and hang out as we jam out to some pretty awesome tunes. So uh, that's it. Nick, glad you're here, man. Everybody that joined me here in chat here with FTG United. Uh, it has been real, guys. We'll see you here in the next episode.